Hello folks, right today I'm going to try out the new Guinness drink. So this is Guinness cold brew coffee beer. Flavorful notes of coffee, chocolate and caramel make for a delicious yet refreshingly sweet taste sensation. Right, now then I thought this was just a coffee flavor and I've only just seen here now. Coffee, chocolate and caramel also. I think this will be a good combination with Guinness. I love Guinness, I love coffee, and now there's an extra, well, there's extra surprises. We've got chocolate and caramel as well. I love chocolate and I love caramel. So this is gonna be very interesting. I can't wait. This must be a draft beer. Um, I can hear the widget inside. I've got my trusty glass here. A little bit sacrilege, because it's a Foster's glass. Could do with a Guinness glass, of course. I haven't got a Guinness glass. I used to have a Guinness glass, but I haven't got a Guinness glass at the moment. So this will have to do. Right then, so let's go for it. Pour it in. As you do with these uh, draft beers from a can. Look at that. I can smell something. I'm almost, I don't want to sort of smell it to ruin my surprise, but you can see there, it's getting ready. So you see the bubbles going there. So we'll just leave it there for a bit to settle. I wonder if they sort of serve this in pubs. Does anybody know if they serve this in pubs? I haven't been to the pub for ages. I used to spend my life in the pub. I used to drink quite a lot of Guinness as well. You know, the uh, original Guinness. I do like Guinness. Oh, I gotta smell it. It smells very nice. It smells lovely. Nearly ready. So we'll go for the taste. Let's put the can. Oh, it's not gonna be on the screen, is it? Let's put it there. So I bought four of these. There's the packaging. So I live in the UK, and there's always this thing they say, you know, the um, Guinness in the UK doesn't taste as good as the Guinness from Ireland. Um, well, I've tasted both. I've tasted it in the UK and I've tasted it in Ireland as well. And I would say that the Guinness does taste better in Ireland. Um, I went to Ireland in 1994 and uh, stayed in Wexford. Went up the east side of Ireland up to um, Dundalk. Uh, passed through Northern Ireland briefly and pretty much stopped off uh, quite a few pubs on the way through and I had a Guinness probably everywhere we stopped off and yes the Guinness is absolutely wonderful the Guinness is wonderful here but it's just a little bit more special in Ireland as you might expect anyway it looks like the Guinness is ready to go so here we go. Hmm, interesting. I'm not quite sure what I think at the moment. The taste reminds me of something. I can taste the caramel in it. Actually, the caramel seems to be the dominant flavor over the coffee. Let's have another taste. Yeah, it's quite a unique taste, not what I was expecting. I was sort of caught off balance when I read that it's got caramel and chocolate in it. I suppose there's a slight hint of chocolate. I'm not sure if I can taste the chocolate that much. Like I say, the caramel seems to be the most dominant taste. Are you supposed to like draw oxygen through your nose or something to enhance flavours? I don't know. I'm unsure. It's nice. I can drink it. Um, I don't think it's an improvement on the original Guinness. But I can see lots of people would like it. It certainly looks appealing. And like I say, I've wanted to taste this for a long time.
Guinness is such an easy drink to drink. It is nice. It goes down well. Yeah, I like it. Um, I don't know what to say, really. Maybe I think my anticipation of the taste um, in my head is better than what it actually tastes like. But it's all horses for courses, I suppose. Um, with Guinness, say if I give Guinness 10 out of 10, the original Guinness, I'd probably give this 6.5 out of 10. 7 maybe. So using that scan, 6.5 out of 10. Um, I'll finish up the other three cans, probably this afternoon. <laughs> And um, I'm not sure if I'll buy it again though, but I will buy um, your regular Guinness again. Anyway, let's keep on going. <sighs> mm. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. It's quite sweet, as you would expect with the caramel flavour in there and perhaps a chocolate flavour. I don't know if I want to drink too many, maybe it would get a little bit sickly. I don't know if you can remember, um, do they still make Caffrey's? The bitter drink? Um, I used to drink that years ago, that used to taste quite sweet, so I used to like that. Um, it used to make me feel a bit um, sick after the tenth pint. <laughs> no, after the uh, second pint maybe. Anyway, I'm uh, going off on a tangent a little bit. Yeah, okay, I'd say. Like I say, six, just over average, six and a half out of ten. I always like the creaminess. The creamy head. On a pint of Guinness. Draft Guinness. Do you still buy those bottles of Guinness? They don't um, give a head. Were. Um, and I haven't had a bottle of that for ages. I, I presume they do still buy it. It's a little bit like just um, dark brown now, isn't it? From the bottle. Right, I can sort of feel it. I can feel the alcohol affecting me a little bit. <coughs> I'm drinking it quite quick, of course, for the video. I know what it reminds me of the flavour tastes, um, the flavour reminds me of, the taste reminds me of. Um, a while back, well probably 10 years ago, I used to make some candles and I'd make some scented candles and the flavour sort of reminds me of that, which is a little bit off-putting actually. I'm not sure if it tastes that natural with the beer. Um, I would imagine they would use natural flavours. Where's my glasses? <clears throat> I'm at the age now where I need uh, bifocals or very focals, but I've only got two pairs. One for like reading up close and the other pair for looking at across distances. And I've got to keep swapping them over. So um, I'm going to have to get used to uh, bifocals and buy a pair soon. So I don't have to keep switching over. Guinness, St. James's Gate, Dublin, Ireland. Cold brew coffee beer. Beer with cold brew coffee and natural flavours. So it says it's got natural flavours. Let me find the ingredients. 4% volume. 4, 440 milliliter cans. I'm not sure, but I think the Guinness in pubs might be a bit stronger than a canned Guinness. But don't quote me on them. Can't find the ingredients, they're probably top secret like Coca-Cola. Anyway, it says it's natural ingredients, so we'll take their word for it. Well these tastes they're subjective, aren't they? So um you have to go and try this yourself. But um idea sounds good, um but uh, just a little bit of a novelty really. I don't think I'll be buying uh, too much of this again like I say I'll be buying the original Guinness because I like the original Guinness um, that's a flavor that is legendary but like I say I'm not sure if I would buy this again even though it's okay
people with a sweet tooth might like it. So there I finished that up. Six and a half out of ten. Okay. Cheers. Thanks for watching. See you soon.